When people encounter the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA, they often wonder how the various forms of the symbols came about. In particular, why are so many of the letters upside down? Well, if you look carefully, you'll see that most of these upside down letters are not made the way we usually turn things upside down on our computers today, by flipping vertically. To see what is going on here and why, we need to go back to the late 19th century and the birth of the IPA. Its creators based it on the Roman alphabet we all know. But their aim was an international alphabet, representing all the sounds of the world's languages. And that's far more than the 26 letters of the standard Latin alphabet that English uses. They wanted new symbols that harmonised with the familiar letters. And back then it was expensive to cast new pieces of metal type. So phoneticians came up with a clever and much cheaper idea. The great Henry Sweet, who laid the foundations for the IPA, described this idea in 1877. There is, however, one simple method of forming new letters without casting new types, which is very often convenient. This is by turning the letters, thus. And this is why so many of the IPA's upside-down symbols are actually rotated forms of basic Roman letters. I hope this goes some way to explaining how phoneme form can vary. <laughs>